Welcome to Cleveland and the Community. On today's show, we are continuing our focus on the importance of community service and mentorship programs. Our purpose is to promote a better community for youth and teenagers. Our community should be a fun and safe environment for everyone. Television is one of the most powerful forms of communication. I got a chance to visit and mentor with the well-known Memphis News anchor, Ms. Kanji Anthony with Action News 5. Kanji Anthony is an anchor and reporter for Action News 5. A native of New Rochelle, New York, Kanji Anthony began her broadcasting career at the age of 17 as a host for her high school television station. She has worked for television news stations across America, both behind the scenes and in front of the camera. Miss Anthony came to WMC Action News 5 in July of 2005. Miss Anthony is an incredible journalist who cares about people and the youth of the Mid-South as if they were her own family. She attends and supports weekly events held by various organizations. She stays connected with community leaders and is a strong advocate for the Memphis and the entire Mid-South. Kanji Anthony is a graduate of Howard University School of Communication, a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the National Association of Black Journalists, and the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Hi, Ms. Anthony. Thank you so much for being a part of this brand new project. I am so honored to be here. Thank you for even considering me. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here also. So. Well, it's, it's really important for people like you to come into this uh, platform because, yeah. you know, you are the future. And so it is so important for you to also see what's happening uh, on a new standpoint. Now, you, I know, you, um, you host things. Mm -hmm. And so this is a whole other experience. And I'm right. just so excited that our future is here getting to witness this. Yeah. So through this project, we have been focusing on community service and mentorship. So... And our overall objective is just to get kids out there, just to come and just show their talents and all that. So um, because we have incredible and talented youth in our community, yes. how do you think we can get youth and parents to get involved? Well, I just think that it's there are so many different organizations that have so many different resources. For instance, the Shelby County Health Department recently launched a page where they're going to show all of the summer youth activities that are going on all across the city. And so just knowing that there are resources out there, uh, I mean, it could be anything from joining the Boys and Girls Club to Leadership uh, Academy, Leadership Memphis, I think. Which one is it that has the adult, I mean, the, the junior one? Leadership Memphis. Leadership Memphis, okay, yes. Um, so the resources are out there. I think it's just a matter of making sure that the community knows that these things exist. And I would, I would encourage everybody to look at the, the Shelby County Health Department's webpage right now. Great. Yeah. So connecting with programs like Leadership Memphis, who continues to develop new programs for the youth and community to volunteer, um, they gain exposure. And that's what we're trying to do here. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So tell me about Kids Do Positive Things and just how this all came about. Well, first, I have parents who believe in entrepreneurship opportunities and of course community service. So with that installed inside of me, um, we just like came up with the idea just to start Kids Do Positive Things for kids who can have an opportunity to showcase their talents and show what they can do, really. Wow, so you pretty much go out with your cameras and mm -hmm. just you witness everything and show it to the community. Right, and we volunteer at charities like the FedEx Family House and um, just perform at different venues around the Memphis community. That is super cool. Yeah. So Ms. Anthony, can you give the youth out there um, advice about their careers and communications? Definitely, definitely. I think that it's all about, I know when I was very young, I would try everything. I thought I wanted to be um, a photographer. I, th I thought I wanted to be an architect. I thought I wanted to be a tennis player. And then when TV, when I started uh, working with the TV show in high school, I knew, I was like, this is the only thing that I'm not bored with. And that way I was able to choose a major. Um, so I, I knew what I wanted to do. And so I would recommend just testing out different skill sets that you have with different activities to just see if it's what you want to do. Because 
when you try a lot of different things, it ends up where you find the thing that is just perfect for who you are. And I believe that God has placed a gift in every single human being. We all have one or more and that you have to find that gift. You have to find it and start as young as possible, you know? Yeah, like you. (laughs) (laughs) Miss Anthony, television is one of the most powerful forms in our world today. So how can, how big of a part can the media play in youth's lives? Well, it's very important. We do so many community events. Um, Almost every weekend I'm uh, attending an event to just reach out to the community, just be part of different issues and different causes. And so it's, I think it's important for people in our position to not just sit at a desk, at an anchor desk. You have to go out into the community, see what's really happening. And uh, with that, take those messages back into the newsroom and do stories that people care about and uh, bring to light people that uh, others might not have known about. Like, I'm very excited that he's agreed to be in my Empire Junior. He will be our first interview. It's about people doing amazing things, and and we just uh, transferred it to make it It was my empire, and now it's my empire junior. And you would be our first interview, uh, just showing a young person doing incredible things. With the right leadership and support, I believe youth have the power to change the environment. When we work together, we can build a better community. Miss Anthony, we appreciate all that you do, and I'm really thankful for this opportunity for being here. Thank you for letting me be on your show. For more information about Cleveland community, go to kdptshow.com. On April 3rd, 2016, the Monumental Baptist Church, located in Memphis, Tennessee, hosted a program honoring the life and legacy of Reverend Samuel Billy Cowles. As we all know, Reverend Cowles passed away a few weeks later. During this service, they recognized youth who had demonstrated the importance of service, helping others, and giving back to their communities. I am proud to say I was one of the recipients of the 2016 Reverend Samuel Billy Cowles Witness Award. Reverend Cowles will forever be recognized for being the witness standing on the balcony with Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he was assassinated in 1968. We would like to thank Miss Aurelia Cowles, Pastor Wade Bryan, and the Monumental Baptist Church for allowing Memphis youth to be recognized in his honor. The Reverend Samuel Billy Cowles, historian, minister, visionary, and civil rights leader.
You know, kids do positive things is a tremendous asset and complement to the future growth of this community. I would encourage uh, the business community, those of us who, who really do care about this city, and I know that so many of you do, that programs such as the Kids Do Positive Things Project are, are at the apex of what we should be supporting, gravitating to, and encouraging. So let me just simply say that, that it's wonderful for what these young people are doing. Cleveland is just one example of what's here in Memphis as far as the future potential of this great city. So let me say that let us embrace all of the credible things as an organization such as Kids Do Positive Things are doing. And let us make Memphis grow to the heights that, that uh, would be just so great for the future growth, not only of Memphis, but for, but for this country. Kids do positive things. Keep on doing what you do. On this segment of our show, we want to talk about how music education can help students learn, achieve, and succeed. Music benefits people of all ages. Research shows that music education equips students with the foundational abilities to learn and achieve in core academic subjects and develop skills essential for lifelong success. I would like to introduce to you someone who has been a mentor to me for almost 10 years, my piano teacher, Ms. Manessa Parker of Parker Music Instructions. Now joining me at the Grove Studio is my piano teacher, Ms. Manessa Parker, who specializes in music education. Ms. Parker, glad to have you on the set today. It's good to be here. Cleveland, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? And I must say, it's been such an honor just to play a part in um, mentoring you all these years. It's been great. It's been such an honor. Yes, ma'am. Now, you have worked with a lot of kids in the Memphis community. Could you talk and tell them about your music career? I've had such a great experience during my career to mentor and educate children and use my uh, music education background along with my elementary education background and just use those avenues to educate and motivate mm -hmm. students through over a decade from ranging from ages five to well into their college years and it has really been phenomenal. Now Ms. Parker you teach piano, drums, and guitar. Could you tell the kids how you first started learning all those instruments? Well I would have to first credit that to my mom. She was also the minister of music growing up mm -hmm. and during my childhood of watching her it really influenced me to um, play piano. So she just started to teach me things she knew and um, during my early teen years she led me to other piano instructors in the area mm -hmm. and then I ultimately went on to college to take some more music instruction. But you know the funny thing is Cleveland, those other instruments, I didn't really have a desire to play those. I was only came while singing with my family gospel group, the mm -hmm. Norton Parker family, and being exposed to those different instruments. And what I decided to do was take the music knowledge I had from keyboard piano and apply it to those instruments. And it all just began to evolve from there. Right. Well, I started out playing drums, and then I progressed to piano at the age of eight. Miss Parker and I are now going to play a song.
Ms. Parker, why do you think music education is important to kids? Well, music education is so important, along with skills and other arts, because it just helps their mental ability all around, their focus, their attention, their alertness, even motor skills. It helps students to even think abstract with problem solving and things of that nature, and even helps them build their independence. You know, once they're given that platform even to mm -hmm. perform their skills and express themselves, for example, this through my music program, which offers music instruction and recitals, it gives them the opportunity to display their own independent creativity that's, that's all their own. Well, I know it definitely has benefited me through being creative and just learning new things. Yeah. So, Ms. Parker, what age do you recommend kids start taking lessons? I've always recommended that they start at the age five, just mm -hmm. due to their level of development and their dexterity ability. Right. But I've known them to start at an even earlier age. Right, because I started drums at three. Yes, you and did. And then piano later, a little there bit you later. Go. So it can happen. Ms. Parker, I just wanted to let the youth know out there what a great piano teacher you are and a blessing to my life and my musical career. And you just been a mentor since Thank kindergarten. You. You're my you. kindergarten teacher, yes, so I really yes. appreciate <laughs> your help through all of those years. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Vanessa Parker of Parker Music Instruction, and first off, I just want to thank Cleveland for all the great work that he's done, and it just shows how important Cleveland and our relationship is, that we as mentors just take these opportunities to connect with these children and create these relationships that we can even continue to mentor them throughout their lives. But you can reach me for more information at KDPT Productions, or you can email me at M-A-N-E-S-S-P at Yahoo.com to inquire more about the program. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has supported Cleveland and the community. Our purpose has been to provide community service information and educational resources so youth can thrive and grow. There are numerous organizations and programs serving youth who may be disadvantaged or in need of a more positive guidance. Remember, education matters, connections matter, and service matters. What do you think you can do to make a difference? I have had some incredible opportunities by participating and being involved. Leadership is not something you know, but a learned behavior, and we can learn to do anything. We have the power to change the environment around us. When we work together, we can build a greater community. Youth, set your goals, pursue your dreams, and be the very best you can be. I'm Cleveland, host musician and producer, and I'll see you in the community.